everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Hills and we are here with Sparrow who is currently just chilling out up here and uh, thinking about getting ready to hunt. We have some uh, elk up at the top here but it looks like a few of them decided to go down and I think we'll try and see. I suspect, oh that is the mother right there. Dang it, I was hoping they might be a little bit cut off uh, because that might have made things a bit easier but I, it might be, well depending on how, oh gosh, ow. We, we didn't even manage to do damage either, because uh, some of them are heading off, but I don't think... Yeah, it looks like the rest of the herd is trying to join it. We'll have to see. Uh, are the elk who know this terrain going to be smarter than us, or are we going to be able to outsmart them? Because there's the bull elk, but it looks like these guys did, in fact, get out of the ditch, which uh, I that's the, it may be easier or harder, depending. Okay, so this is a pretty full health uh, calf. Anyway, probably not the one that we'd want to go after. So let's see maybe about this one. See if we can get a bite in. Nope, that was still also quite full health. Are any of them going to be a little bit weaker? Or I, I don't think so. It looks like those are... It looks like there's only two calves and they both are a little bit on the, uh, well, a lot on the high side of health. So I don't think we're going to get lucky, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to just go for one of the ones that is a little bit, ah, we got caught between the elk and the rock though. That's, that's not, that's not a good place. Getting caught between elk and a, and a hard place or a rock and an elk. I, I don't think that's, that's quite how this is supposed to work. Uh, but now that we're on the more open ground, perhaps it'll be a little bit easier to do damage without getting caught, I say, as we proceed to immediately get caught. Poor Sparrow has not quite gotten the hang of this, I don't think. Uh, he's still got a little bit le of learning left to do when it comes to hunting elk. But if we can get this hunt finished, then that'll free up enough or more time for us to go moose hunting and see if we can manage to find one of them because I don't know how long that's going to take us. They might hang out in this area. We might luck out. And, like, if we do finish super early, then I'll give you guys the chance to kind of help me decide on uh, possibly another um, story that we could... or another challenge we could give him to earn a bonus perk. Um, or a bonus point, rather. Um, so, depending on how, how this goes... It, it, we, we could end up spending a lot of time just trying to find moose in the first place. Oh, wow, we've also lost a lot of health. This is not what I was hoping for. Um, eh, this is, this hunt is not going the best. <laughs> um, but it, we could end up finishing super quickly, or we could end up... What just happened there? Because I... I, I don't know if I'm seeing things, but I felt like one of the elk kept running, and I... I I don't know if... I'm gonna have to watch that footage back because I feel like I saw something kind of funny and it just like happening really fast um, and now we're falling down the cliffs. That's 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 phenomenal. Um, I don't know, did you guys did you guys see something kind of weird with the elk shooting off in one direction while we didn't? Or am I, am I, was I distracted? Did I see another elk and my brain just filled in the details weird? <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I think we're actually lower on health than the elk right now, which is really not great. Um, this is very difficult terrain to hunt in, and we started with a calf that was very full on health, so this is not, um, not, not the optimal situation here. Uh, we, need, we really need a more open area where we can see things a little bit better and maneuver a little bit better because we kind of keep getting pinned and uh, that causes some problems a lot of the time. Okay, the mother's going to come back and reach us pretty soon here, so let's get out of the way. There we go. I think we are starting to make the odds uh, tip a little bit more in our favor here. All right, they're going to try to get back. All right, uh, we got to let go again because the, <laughs> the mother's going to get us. Um, but once we've done this, we'll just have to worry about the moose, and uh, I don't know if that's going to make this challenge super easy to complete, or if it's going to be a thing where we then spend forever just trying to find a moose in the first place. Oh, sneaky elk turning around that fast. That, 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 that almost messed us up pretty bad there. We did still get to do a little bit of damage, but not quite as much as I was kind of hoping for. Oh, and the mother is going to be really smart about this too. See, if we get caught up against the cliffs, they can kind of... Oh, hey, whoa, I did not know everybody turned around here. Good gracious. Um, oh, and I think the herd has stopped running, too, so we might have to scare them again. Sometimes they do that. They decide that they're just not that not that intimidated by you, and uh, they don't want to keep running away. So that's, that's going to be when bad things happen here. 
And sometimes they'll even come after you if you're not careful. But, uh, I don't want to abandon this hunt. I would really prefer not to do that, but we might have to. This is very subpar terrain to be doing this on. This is not where I would have liked this to have happened. I would have preferred if they would have gone to a more open area, because now they're being very fickle and there's not a lot that I can do about that because they're very protected at the moment. So smart choice on the, the part of the elk. <laughs> For sure smart choice on the part of the elk. Um, they seem to know this train a lot better than Sparrow does, and they are definitely using it to their advantage. Maybe we can spook some of the other herd, in, or other part of the herd here into running, and see if, if they run, maybe some of the others will? I really don't know. We might just get ourselves kicked this way, which would not be so fun. Yeah, I don't think they're too intimidated by a wolf just sliding down the hillside. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, folks. This this hunt is not going so well. It, it truly, truly... Oh, here we go. Here we go, though. Okay, they actually are on the run now. So maybe this will... Maybe things will look up. Maybe things will get a little bit better. Um, is this the one we are chasing? Nope, that's not the one we are chasing. Uh, now I can't even find the elk that we were trying to take down. Nope, that's the other one. That one's almost full on health. I think they must be way out in front. Oh, I think I see it way up ahead there. They snuck right past us. Oh, and there's an eagle. That's a close of that. The golden eagles are the ones that are a little bit uh, dangerous for the pups. Did I lose them again? I, I can't keep track of what's going on around all these trees. There's so much happening at once. And they turned around and ran the other way. Oh my word. All right, let's see. Is that the one we're trying to chase down? Running right up there? Yes. Okay, now I've got a lock on it. We'll see if we can get a good bite in. Which, probably not, because, ah, the mother turned right around and got us again. So, we gotta see... She keeps entering the, uh, standoff, like, the, the standoff part is when they're, they're standing their ground. She keeps do doing that, and that's not so easy to work with. Alright, are we gonna be able to get a good bite? Maybe that's the mother there, though, I think? Or was it? Oh, no, the mother was behind us still. Oh, I should have held on a little bit longer, that would have helped. But, unfortunately, I did not see where she'd actually gotten off to. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of which elk actually is the mother, too. So this one who's circling back around is the one who's going to come and uh, kick us if we hang on too long. But, I think... Oh, oh, get another good bite, get another good bite. Alright, she's going to run in any second now. Yep, let's get out of here. We've got a few... If we do, can just get, like, another bite or two, and she did a lot of damage there. Just another couple bites will do it. No, one more! We're so close! Alright, we just gotta get around her one more time. I'm gonna book it in and see if we can get if we can get a good bite. There we go. So that is three of four prey hunted. So now we just have to take down a moose, and with our luck, that's gonna be the one that takes freaking forever, and we're not gonna be able to finish it until like episode eight or nine because this is pretty much exactly what happened with Rigel at this point we'd already had encounters with like two bears or something and then oh coyotes I don't think Sparrow is not gonna look kindly on them after uh, a fight like that I feel he's probably a little bit grumpy at the moment and uh, he's gonna just kind of chill out here and guard his <laughs> carcass from that eagle He's not too happy about this. Get out of here, eagle. There we go. Keep your distance. He's gonna run right up to it and growl. <laughs> um, but uh, there we go. I think it properly left this time. Oh, nope. I still see it circling. Is it gonna land again? It might. If they're like this with the pups, this is gonna be like anxiety. <laughs> this is gonna be anxiety incarnate if we are... Um, if we're having to deal with this with pups, oh my goodness, all right, he's, he's gonna chill down there. I think Sparrow's gonna try and run him off nonetheless, try to just get him to leave, although maybe he was doing that so he could run in and steal the carcass, because now we're gonna have a hard time getting back up. And he'll be sitting over here going, ha ha, I can fly, and we'll go ahead and growl uh, and try to chase this dude off again. He's very stubborn, so I think we might, look at, he's, he's gone right back again. We'll go ahead and give him a growl. <laughs> he doesn't really want to, to leave. He keeps landing right across from us. Oh my goodness. You can get right in his face and he just barely flies off. 
didn't, I feel like Rigel got harassed by an evil recently too. We'll have him, he's gonna kind of just settle down and um, just like settle down on top the carcass, I think, so that the eagle can't steal from it. Like he'll just lay down right here. <laughs> and, um, and hopefully that'll deter the uh, eagle from messing around. But we do need to, uh, we do need to sleep here and get some rest. So hopefully he'll be able to do that. <laughs> He's kind of got his head on the, uh, on, on his food there on the carcass, uh, protecting it. But hopefully nothing else scarier shows up, uh, because that certainly could be the case. We certainly could have some big bad predator show up. Um, we'll sleep a little while longer until it's morning so that we can see a little bit more clearly. And uh, then we'll probably try and, uh, I guess our, our best bet here is to start searching for um, the moose and see if we can actually find one. And I don't know if this means that we're going to either have this uh, this playthrough end, or not the playthrough, but this uh, challenge complete tomorrow, or, or not, this challenge complete next episode. I can't think. Hi. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired at the moment. I've been, I've been a little bit sick. I mentioned that, and uh, I'm doing a lot better, but I'm still a little bit out of it, and words are not flowing the greatest at this point in time. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I just can't form words. But, uh, here we go. Now that it is daytime... Oh, this is just a fox. Um, we're gonna head off anyway. I got a little bit to eat. I probably could have gotten a little bit more to eat, but that's okay. Um, because we're gonna be looking for a moose, and we'll probably either find one, like, right now, and be ready to complete our challenge if we can take it down, or we'll find one, like, very at the, the end, or not at all. <laughs> and there's no good way of predicting which one it's gonna be. So I think that's mule deer over there. Yeah, that looks like it. There are, I think, I feel like, well, I don't know if there's more moose in Lost River than there are on Amethyst Mountain, because I'm also trying to think back in terms of rates. Because the old Amethyst Mountain map didn't have the river either, and you do find moose more commonly down by the river. But I feel like there's more moose in Lost River just because they're, who are you? There's another wolf here! This one is like a proper stranger wolf, though. Who is this? Lost River 1M. Oh, he's not- he's- he's out here to hunt, thankfully. Oh, and Canyon- oh, this is the- this is the, um- oh my gosh, how many are there? That's the one we saw last time, one of them, isn't- isn't it? I think so. Who's this? Canyon 2- oh, there's another- another one, too. She's- I didn't- Huh, cause yeah, we found it. We found one of the wolves from the canyon pack, but I thought she was alone. Maybe we just didn't see the other one because it was dark. Um, but there's actually two wolves in the canyon pack, it looks like. And then that's a stranger wolf, so we better hightail it out of here, cause I don't really want to go looking for a fight. So now we've met, I think, three of the the wolves that could potentially be uh, our mate here in this area, and we've definitely got uh, some interesting options thus far. Okay, yeah, you, you can celebrate. I don't think Sparrow really cares at this point when we stumbled right on another elk herd. Um, I don't think he cares uh, too, too much about... Oh, are those the dispersals howling back? I think it might be. Oh, man. Um, I don't think he cares too, too much about, you know, invading other wolves' territory. Hello? <gasps> are you kidding? We've already found our moose calf, perhaps? We are at full health again, too. We don't have the most stamina, but I don't think we can pass up this chance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? Are we gonna finish this, like, next time? We'll have to, we'll have to see. We can go ahead, though, we've, we've got a little time left, so we can go ahead and get started on uh, on the hunt here and see. I don't know, you guys. Man, we might end up completing this on, <laughs> our, completing our challenge on episode two. That's not what I would have expected. I still am trying to balance everything for uh, Wolf Quest 3, so... But then there's also what what makes it extra hard. Ow, 51 damage though is no no joke. Oh my goodness. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here before oh, and this is really bad terrain too. So for as much as we had to be careful not to get hit by the uh cow elk, we really have to be careful not to get hit by the moose, because that's gonna be bad news uh if she manages to land a blow. Alright, get out of here. Cause she already did once and that was not good. Uh, and these guys are right up in the hills. They know where uh, where I'm going to have a hard time. Ouch. 
that was not good. That was, that was painful. <laughs> uh, we are on challenging right now, but uh, that doesn't mean, just because we're not on accurate doesn't mean that this isn't going to be difficult. I mean, they call the difficulty challenging for a reason. Oh, that, ah, uh, I thought she was going to turn at just such an angle that we couldn't, that, that she couldn't get us, but that was a lot worse. <laughs> that was not what I was hoping for. How much damage have we done? Not a lot, huh? Okay, so this could end up being a pretty difficult thing to pull off. And that's the thing, too, is just because we found him doesn't mean this is going to be a success. And why do I hear predator music? What am I hearing? Why am I hearing predator music? Did something run by? Was there something down below? Oh, who is this? Who is this? It's a cougar. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a cougar trying to get up to us. Hopefully not going to pick a fight, at least. But I don't know if we really can manage to actually take these guys out up here or not. I don't know how easy or difficult that's going to be to pull off. It might not be that easy. <laughs> because they are really in an area that you can't do too much about. Oh, there we go. Is the calf on the run? The calf's kind of on the run. you got to get the calf running away. And, oh, we're not going to... Oh, get out, get out, get out. If the calf's not running, you're not going to be able to do much because the mother will stay very, very close. So we need... We need to play our cards carefully here, that's for sure. Alright, um... There we go. We're on the run again. Oh, the trouble is, too, yeah. Oh, gosh. See, I feel like... Sometimes... A lot of the time, the um, elk calf will keep running. Um, and I think the... Well, I think the fawns tend to stop. The mule deer fawns tend to stop pretty often. But the moose calves will often stop like that and give the mother a chance to run up on you. And you can see we've lost more health than the comparatively than the calf has. So that's uh, that's not good. This is going to cause us problems here. Uh, this hunt is definitely not going as well as I would have hoped it would. And that does concern me just a little bit here. Can we actually get them to keep going? We might. Oh, what music am I hearing now? I keep hearing it switching to different music and that leaves me a little concerned. Okay, those are mule deer down there. I think we're okay. There we go. All right, if we can, oh, no. The, yeah, see, the calf stopped again. Oh, the mother is over here. It might take her a little bit to get, get her way to us. All right, that worked. That gave us a good chance to deal some damage, which is pretty much what we needed. And this is the territory of the wolf that chased us earlier, I think, so we got to be cautious about that. Because if he wanders over here, it's not going to be a fun time for us. <laughs> not going to be what we want to, um, what we want to have to mess around with. So we're about equal with the moose calf. It might be a little less than us. I'm not actually too sure. But if we can't get it to run, we're going to have a really hard time. I'm sorry for the, the janky camera angles here, too. It's not, not fun for anybody to be up against these cliffs. This is definitely not where I would have preferred to do this. Because uh, if we can't get them to run, there's not a lot we can do without getting absolutely clobbered by the moose mama. And that's definitely going to be an issue if we uh, aren't careful here. All right. Oh. Oh, that was... I made mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, that was not good. Now I just took a lot of damage for naught, <laughs> which is exactly why I don't want to be stuck up here with these guys. I want I want them to be, like, I'd prefer them to be down in this area where all the elk and the deer and literally every other prey animal in the game is right now. Um, I'd much prefer them to be down there than uh, up here in the hills. They're, they're smart. They're, they're really smart. They know what they're doing. They know how to avoid getting eaten by wolves. And uh, so far, it's serving them pretty well. But I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap this episode here for today. We will come back and try to finish this hunt in the next episode and see if we can pull it off. If not, then I guess we'll go back and keep looking. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.